Well, I think that uh, that, that is one of the, the big issues that we're talking about. And with, uh, with some of the potential in the technology, I think that has caused a consolidation of some of our seed and genetic resources. Uh, not only the well, one of the issues that we that we know gets brought up with this is uh, is farmers not being able to save their seed because of the patent technology, but then also the development of some of the terminator technologies, uh, so that forces uh, farmers to not be able to save their seed. But I also see it from the other side. Um, uh, the research side of it, that consolidation of seed and genetic resources, we do need more diversity. We need to have more tools, not less tools available. And that, that consolidation means that there's less for farmers to choose from, less to be selected from. And some of the technology that I think uh, that is allowing the genetic modification can have tremendous benefit to our food systems. Genetic assisted or marker assisted breeding can actually take a traditional breeding system and provide us with some of the same advancements that we see that, that are touted by GMOs in a very short amount of time and allow us to see that adaptation in crops uh, through traditional breeding methods and give uh, public institutions the ability to move those out to farmers and to have more diversity because like you say, it's gonna take more resources, more diversity, more tools for us to be able to be successful as the climate changes, as our, as uh, uh, the types of agricultural areas that we're producing in changes, as our water supply and those challenges uh, uh, provide different scenarios that we're having to farm and to feed more people. Uh, and it's going to take more, not less, so the consolidation issues and the lack of uh, or, or decreasing genetic resources are, are uh, disturbing in some of these technology de developments.